Michael Gold and his staff just love to read personal letters. They sometimes get hundreds a day, all from friends or people looking for friends. Friend find. Do we really find people? Sure we do. You see, Michael runs a business called Friend Find, an idea he came up with several years ago. I was sitting at my desk. I was a stockbroker at the time in, in Fort Lauderdale and wondered whatever happened to my old best friend, whom I hadn't seen in well over 14 years, and decided to try and find him. And it took me 15 months to find him. That was the birth of Friend Find. And, and now, through computers, mail, and phone calls, he and his staff look for other people's friends at $16.95 a request. But just friends who want to be found, mind you. We're not looking for people who owe money. We don't work for Louis the Leaner, who wants to break your legs. All that we're trying to do is rekindle some old friendships and bring back, uh, I guess, a piece of the old days. So does Friend Find work? Well, every day they're reuniting friends by phone or on television shows across the country. People like policeman Jim Riggle, who'd been waiting for 20 years to exchange memories with an old Navy buddy. One thing he said, do you remember the, the one night I got so damn mad at you because you went, came back to the ship with a tattoo? And Margaret Carter, who'd lost all track of her best friend in college. It's, just, it's been wonderful. It's, it's like opening up a, an old chapter. And even though it takes a lot of research, you have to admit, finding old friends is certainly more rewarding than some jobs. It certainly beats sitting behind a desk as a stockbroker and having to call people all day and saying, I have bad news. I mean, we come in every day and we make people happy. John Holden, News 4.